Tool Assistant is so genius that nobody knows who's behind it. A quick guide for the Oki Calculator would be good. Let's see how quick I can explain this. So this section here is your knockdowns. This is the move that you're trying to contact with. And you can use this section here to fill time. But it's all based on this. So you look at your crouching hard kick knockdown. You click on it. Well, let me reset it. So you click on it. Now watch what happens to this here. Well, I guess it's already there. But it, it changes depending on which knockdown you do. So we're looking at crouching hard kick. This section here is the back recovery. You can see here, knockdown, back recovery. This section here is the, well, it just says recovery, but this is the normal recovery. So this is when the character uh, gets off the ground on normal recovery. This is when the character gets off the, ground, uh, off the ground when they back recover. This is when they don't recover at all. So let's say, off of my crouching hard kick, I want to see what happens when I dash forward. So you look for your forward dash, dash forward, and total active frame is 19, this is your total active frame section. And by the way, this section here is um, just your regular, all of your special normal moves and how, it's based off of the uh, total active frames. So you got lowest to high. So I want to look at my dash forward, when I click on this, it applies it here. So you can see here when I dash forward, uh, I'm in a recovery state with the whole dash. But my dash recovers on the same frame that they get off the ground. So I am recovering for one frame when they normal recover. Which means that I am negative one because I'm still here. I'm here and they're they're off the ground. They're able to hit me. I'm negative one if I dash up after a crouching roundhouse. Which means that it's not good to dash up after a crouching roundhouse. And that's basically it. You can use your plus or minus on your uh, keyboard and it'll adjust this. And I use this to find out when exactly I need to hit something, or how to fill time here. And this is where, you, where frame kills come handy. So let's say I wanted a... We're going to switch our dash to forward hard punch instead. Now let's say I wanted to hit my forward hard punch on a later active frame. If I just move it over here and I want to see what kind of frame kill would be involved if I wanted to use uh, forward hard punch on the last active frame of their normal recovery, then I would need to kill six frames because I I am I move this over six so I need to be plus six I don't think I can't be plus six unless I activate view trigger right that's the only six frame kill that I have is six and I don't want to activate my view trigger just for a frame kill so that's a very brief explanation of how to use this I hope that was clear enough what do y'all think Hopefully that's my tool assisted to tool assisted Oki calculator less than five minute tutorial, right? Okay, so where were we? Oh we wanna hit we wanna hit 